Hello, happy Vlogmas. So this is part two and we're randomly on day 18 of Vlogmas but I'm just trying to record little bits here and there because we've got a new little baby. So Jensen is sleeping but Adam is putting the Christmas decorations up outside finally. We normally put them up on the first but we've been a bit busy so hopefully we'll be able to switch those on this evening. So Adam's putting the Christmas decorations up outside. Hello Adam. Hello got a bit of a misty sky this evening and these are the lights that need sorting out so hopefully we'll be able to show you those in a bit wakey wakey Jensen oh dear we've got to wake him up for a nappy change so I'm afraid I'm gonna have to disturb you sorry and this is a lovely blanket which my friend Helen made isn't it gorgeous So we're a couple of days later um, and I thought I'd come and share with you all the knitting things that I've been working on. But first, I think Jensen wanted to say hello to everybody. He's not looking at the camera now. <laughs> come on, look, what's up there? <laughs> so this is my little Jensen and he's five weeks old today. And today is the 23rd of December, so we're coming up to Christmas and he's got another Christmas onesie on because we always love a Christmas onesie and he's just had some food so hopefully he'll be nice and quiet and well behaved while we're recording some of the video so this is the cowl that Liz knitted that I showed you that she'd finished actually doing the knit a bit last week and I blocked it out nicely and it's uh, knitted flat so you have to join it at the back so I joined the actual panel at the back and this is called the Traveller's Cowl by Mackenzie Alvarez I think that's how you pronounce it I will pop a link to it in the description bar down below but it's got this gorgeous gorgeous cable detail across the side bit there and I think it's a really nice shape to wear with like a coat when it's slightly open to keep you nice and warm at the front. And this is in DK weight yarn and this one is my own hand dyed yarn in the Because the Night colourway and it's a really nice soft merino and nylon base which also could be used for socks as well. It's quite a durable yarn that shouldn't peel too much. So that's finished and I also showed on my last sort of Vlogmas video that I finished blocking out my triangulum blanket and this is how it's looking when it's all blocked out nicely so i finished it off with an i-cord bind off the instructions of which are in the pattern but also i have a couple of tutorials on how to do the i-cord binding as well but this is how it looks and i just did a quite a small or should i say liz knitted all the triangles and i did all the finishing off I did quite a small one just to use as a baby blanket you can see the twinkly lights of the tree coming through it <laughs> so that's how it looks Looks, and you can see there's like hexagon shapes formed by the little triangles and it's a nice simple pattern once you've actually done one you won't have to sort of go back to the pattern again so that's all finished and I have been working on some socks and I showed you on the last vlogmas video that I've been I think I've knitted sort of most of this one and a little bit of this second one and I finished the actual tubes with the toes on the end so what I did is I had some Patterns Croy 50 gram sock yarn that's striping and I knitted sort of more or less 25 grams and then I pulled off the yarn until I'd got to the bit where it'd match started knitting and then just knitted to the same point so I have do have a little bit of yarn left because I wanted to get them to match and then I used a blue contrast for the toes and I've just cut in an afterthought heel um, on the first one to finish them off and then I've nearly finished them so I do have a tutorial for how to split um, a socks tube into two pairs of socks and I basically used the same instructions as I did there except I just knitted a 50 gram ball instead of a 100 gram ball so there we go that's my socks and I have a little cardigan that Jensen's gonna model for me in a little bit that I knitted a little while ago 
So Jensen is wearing a baby vertebrae over the top of his little onesie. And this is knitted in some yarn I've had a little while. I can't actually remember what it is, but I will put it in the description bar down below. And Daddy's holding him for me so that you can see it a little bit better. Jensen! Hello! <laughs> So my mum and dad have joined us for Christmas and my mum's been doing a little bit of knitting for me so I will show you what she's been up to. So tell me what you've been knitting. Well I've got a go at these for you. Well it's... what is it you're knitting? There, there it's going to be socks. Yes. A pair of socks. So it's the yarn I've got left over from the cake of yarn I'd got from Dragon Horde yarn, which is a self-striping, and I'd already knitted a sock in these, so I gave Mum the rest to knit a sock tube, and then I'm going to cut it up into a pair of socks, so using up as much of the stripey sock yarn as possible. So did you enjoy knitting the stripes? I certainly did. Mum doesn't like doing increases and decreases, so no, it's I a don't. nice easy knit for her. So either end of the sock is a rib, just a two by two rib, and then I'm going to cut it into a pair. So that'll be nice. I don't know who they're going to be for yet, but Mum doesn't wear socks, do you Mum? No. You're a tights lady. I wear tights, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so thank you for showing us what you've been knitting Mum. That's okay. And if you look, Dad's in the background, looking on his iPad and he's trying to hide. <laughs> He <laughs> doesn't like being in the camera, in the limelight, does he? <laughs> so, Mum, have you enjoyed your stay so far? I certainly have. You've eaten all my chocolates, again. No, no, I haven't <laughs> eaten all your chocolates, Eleanor. So, Mum's volunteered to hold up the triangulum blanket so you can see it a bit better. And that is the front of the blanket. And will you demonstrate the back of the blanket, Mum, please? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the back. If I go a little bit closer, you can see that it's basically like a reverse stocking stitch on the reverse. So there we go. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas or whatever festive season you celebrate. And also a very happy 2022. But I'm hoping to get a podcast sorted before the new year comes. But we shall see. We shall see how it goes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I shall see you in the next podcast. Bye. Bye. <laughs>